first and foremost, I was wondering uh, what your role is at the moment and kind of like how did you get into it? So um, I have a varied role at the BBC. So I'm a weather presenter and a journalist. And I sort of split my week between the two, weather presenting and journalism. Um, and that's for the Welsh language um, news service and mm-hmm. weather service on S4C. Um, so that is my main job. But I am a big gamer. And so the way it works at the BBC is if you have an idea to do something, you can pitch it and you can usually do it if, you know, if it's a good idea and people want to take it on. So, yeah, back in 2012, I had an idea for a video game program and on like BBC Three and I pitched it and they said, oh, it's more suitable to radio. Here's the person you need to talk to. So then I pitched it to Radio 4 and they said, yes, they liked it. So it took a long time. That was 2012. I first pitched it as a TV idea. And then it was 2019 when we finally went over to California to to film What's in a Game, which was for Radio 4. Um, so it was a, a long, a long yeah period of trying to get that out. Um, and also while we were there at the same time, we recorded another documentary called In the Studio World of Warcraft, which was for the World Service. And mm-hmm. um, so because we were going to California, um, we just sort of knocked off two at the same time, <laughs> went to, to the team at Blizzard in Irvine, California, and to spend some time with the sound and design team there, which was just like the best experience. And then it went around other places in California to do this Radio 4 documentary. So I interviewed like... Um, uh, the guy who made What Remains of Edith Finch and Tim Schafer, which was just amazing. You know, he was the the hero, really, because I, I love Grim Fandango. It's my favorite ever game. So that was amazing. So, yeah, so that, that just came from just me loving games, wanting to do something on them and someone taking a chance on me saying, yes, OK, we'll give you a chance. Um, and then from that, I also used to present news. Well, I still do present news rounds occasionally, but I used to be with them like um full time and as a presenter and then because they knew I liked gaming they would give me the gaming stories so I went to London to uh film with PlayStation at PlayStation HQ um an item on girls within gaming and then also uh, in my extra time in my you know sort of spare time I guess in work sometimes I work with BBC Click as well the technology program and um Again, because I'm a, I'm a gamer, they're giving me some, uh, well, it's, it's a couple of things. It's, it works both ways, really. Sometimes if they have an idea that they'd like me to do, they'll ask me if I can do it. And if I've got slack in the rotor, then my boss will let me off and I'll go and work with them. So one item, they asked me to do something on the Micro Olympics, which is the celebrating the 40th anniversary of the BBC Micro Computer last year. So I went over to Bletchley Park just when people were allowed out again, you know, so but that that was still closed to the public so they let us go in um and then after that on the back of that earlier this year was it or I can't quite remember the two past years have blurred into one Mm -hmm. but I did a I pitched an idea to BBC Click on MetaHumans the Unreal Engine's new software and they liked it so I did it so yeah the gaming stuff has also all been like a little bit extras to what my normal job is it's not Mm -hmm. really been part of my daily job but I make it work because I like it (laughs) 